Hello everybody, and welcome back to God Eater 2 Rage Burst. Last time we were gonna get a right claw for Dr. Rachel. It's been a while since I've played, I'll let you know that right now. I was waiting to get a uh, pop filter for my mic and just catch up on uploading, basically. We haven't read the emails, so let's see, we have Nana Kozuki from the Far East. How are things on Friar? Nothing has really changed here, same old, same old. Romeo and Gil are fighting away like always, but we can all laugh it off now, so nothing to be worried about. I guess that's all for today. Well, thank you, Nana. And the satellite mailing list. CC to all. I've come a long way, you know. Guess who I am? Tashimane? There are always... There are a lot of rare animals being protected here. Yesterday they showed me something called the koala. It's kind of like a capybara, but lives in a tree. And it's... It really is adorable, but when I saw it, I remembered our Capybara and got a bit homesick. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. I'll send another mail when I have time. Sincerely, you know who. Interesting fact about ko koalas. I believe they have the smallest brain for mammals. Or the smallest brain for any creature of its size. Something like that. Okay, yeah. I already grabbed the right claw, so we can go see Dr. Rachel. I was just making sure we haven't, you know. Um, we can switch you in the end. Seems like they're potentially in news. Yeah, okay, that's a repeat. So, Dr. Rachel, I got it. I'm sorry I've been sending you on missions as it suits me. I promise you, you're being incredibly helpful. Next, I'd like to ask for a right claw. I have one. You didn't disappoint. You didn't disappoint. That was fast. Really? It was like a couple weeks. May I have a right claw? Yeah. Thank you. I think Dr. Kujo will be delighted as well. He seems to have taken quite a liking to you. He called you his savior. That reminds me. Dr. Kujo was looking for you. He said he wanted to thank you for everything. Could you ask him? Could you give him this letter if you see him? Say hello on my behalf and tell him... This letter is from me. Alright, Vampire Countess, I shall. Are you gonna say anything new? Nope. Okay, alright. Oh. Okay. Kujo. I got a letter for you. Oh, wow. Alright, just lowering that for you guys at home. Thank you, thank you so much. Because of you, our research is making real progress. The autonomous control device is almost perfect. In truth, the last step is the most difficult. But why unmanned soldiers? Ooh, do you just like Leah? Well, I... Heavens no. I have nothing against her personally. We're simply rivals in the scientific sphere. I can't say I've approved of her work, but she wields enormous political influence. Still, if she's as brilliant as they say, why does she come with that primitive man design? Uh, she may be able to pull the wool over that idiot, Director Germ's eyes, but not mine. Uh, I've said too much. No, of course there is no animosity between Dr. Lee and myself. But why unmanned soldiers? <laughs> A clever question. <laughs> Allow me to tell you why Godark soldiers should be unmanned. Unmanned Godark soldiers are just that, unmanned. Do you comprehend? If they're destroyed, no one is hurt. Not that... not that I want them destroyed. But when they are occupied by pilots, we're asking God Eaters to go out there and risk their lives. Why not keep our people safe? Having them pilotless is the best way forward. Eh, perhaps. Is blood a good thing? Blood is born of Dr. Rachel's tireless research efforts. I would never disrespect her children. She is amazing. One of the most brilliant minds I've ever seen. Brave, beautiful, far beyond me. I don't mean anything by that. I respect her as an amazing scientist. Yes, scientist. Nothing more. <laughs> In truth, it's been a while since I've spoken like this. You're rather easy to talk to. What? What's up? A letter from Dr. Rachel for me? Oh, wow. I, I can't believe this. Oh, sorry. I lost my comms there. Thank you. I won't forget your kindness. 
Okay. Gujo, um, D Dr. Rachel gave me a letter. Alright, let me f pump up the audio. Alright, we are good to go. Let's see if Dr. Rachel has anything new to say. Or you! Nope, you're gonna repeat. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes when things happen, they say different things. Thank you. Did you deliver the letter to Dr. Kujo? Um, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Please lend me your services again when you need a rise. Um, okay, not yet. Please do so. Um, hmm. You're, uh... I'm sorry. It's just like I don't want to miss anything. You know? Talking to people, that's what I like to do. And he's got the same? Yeah. Okay, so we should have a new mission. We've received a new mission from HQ. Can you take care of it? I will try my best. Fire drill. On the Forgotten Carrier. Destroy the Cloud Riga operating out of this out of its stronghold on the coast. It is linked up with a number of polar zygotes. These origami have opposite, opposing elements, but their origami bullets should allow you to gain the advantage in this fight. Now, Cloud Riga were weak to freeze, but were they also weak to spark? Hmm, I don't remember. We'll see. Oh god. Um, a Cloud Riga. Honestly, Romeo would do good. Nana would be okay. We want like busters. Haru would be fine. Hammers do fine. Spears do okay. Kinda want that. Oh yeah, and I've been working on Emil and Coda. We're working on that dark Emil. You know? Um. Hmm. Yeah, let's get Emil some work. Was leveling up Fran. Oh, no. So she's got some skills. I probably should have worked on, like, honestly, Damien or Lika. So that when we go back, at least we have somebody else leveled up a good bit. And we can use them at the main HQ. Instead of, or not main HQ. At uh, the den. Yeah. But, eh, might as well level the both of them up. Quadriga shouldn't be too bad. We haven't used snipers a lot. Do I? No, I can't use sure break with um with a gun. That would be nice if you could. Let's go with some of this and let's get arena speed, and that should be fine. Yeah. I was thinking about turning off the radio and stuff, but nah. I don't know, I like it. If you don't, I'm sorry. I know it's very repetitive, but the times it's not repetitive and they actually say something new, you know? Then I'm gonna miss out on that. I don't want that. Um, that should be fine. We don't want Hawk, we want a Frost Sniper. Or we want a dual type, which there are no dual types that I have. Hmm. Which is better? This is better. Okay. Alright. Everything else should be fine. That doesn't matter too bad. Um. I tried this. I was wolf hunting. I was trying this. Works okay. This, I feel, is a little better. I'll try that. And I can switch the shield to... Actually, no. The shield's fine for the Quadriga. Yeah. This will, this will be fine. Actually... Now I'll just change it real quick. All right, yeah, you know Master Mallow, sure. There. Yep. And I'll fix that stuff later. Just so we have this set save later, so I don't have to make as many changes. You know. We'll see. The device's effect has disseminated through the region. There's a boost to your movement speed. Rush in! Yeah. Four things are fascinating. Maybe six and a half. Mm-hmm. So giddy! Oh. Enemy down. Well done. Doing fine! Oh yeah, and another technique Argami I learned. Neutralized. That. It's a lot quicker with, like, Scythe and Busters. And Spears, too. 
And the Quad Rico's over there. Yeah, right around the corner. Coming for us now, too. Doing fine. Origami neutralized. Sweet. It's kind of hard to do that. It's like... It's like... Oh. It's easy to do it while you're standing still. It's not easy to do while you're moving. That's the problem. And the Quad Rico is rushing me a bit. Alright. You suck. Good sir. Alright, switch these to this. Just hope that I could stun him, maybe. Nope. Oh. Looks like that's actually bigger than it used to be. Because it used to be really small and I was kind of not too worried about the Quad Rigo, like in the past, to be honest. Is now restrained. Something wrong. It used to be what? It used to be his front parts, the chest, and the the missile pods. Speaking of, really, he seems beefier than it used to be. Conditions fulfilled. The link support device is activating. Defensive ability has been improved. Hmm. He seems beefier than he used to be. That's for sure. And you can see my health ticking up. Burst status is nearing expiration. Man, that prana is so good. So okay. Destruction of the bond confirmed. Well done. Origami we activating. This is the path to glory. It is not for the faint of heart. Origami oh. bond is cracked. Not a bad Now the start. harder part for him. Breaking those front parts. Which I can do this. Oh, but it is. Hmm. Is now they are resistant to crush. That sucks a lot. I don't know if I can get them then. If they're resistant to crush, maybe I should have brought a buster. I didn't think they were res resistant to crush back in the day. I thought they were resistant to pierce. Hmm. That's problematic. I mean, they'll break eventually, probably. Alright. I mean, I can do 200 maybe to them? His mm. can press two. That's what sucks. I don't know if we'll get him, so I'll just focus on him, I guess. If we can get him, we'll get him. Origami is disengaging. It's heading for food. Where are you going? I Yep. That is some good damage. Yeah, he'll probably be dying in a bit. No, we got him. Origami Exhaust organs. That looks like it hurt. <laughs> were they called that back in the day? Oh no, they were called like Exos. I don't think they were called Exos I would think I would remember that at least. When did he do that? Is that new? Hmm. That seems new. Or is it his enrage? It might be a his and rage thing. He'll be down. Oh yeah, he just tried to run three times? He's dead. Unless they do it on um, damage values Five now. Minutes have elapsed in this mission. I don't think so. Yeah. Target is no longer producing an oracle response. I've greenlit the extraction team. Well, I think that was yeah. solid. Not awesome, but great work, everyone. Now that we'll be fighting the them, we're gonna be using the um, busters more. Must earn his rest. And this night, 
Maintain vigilance until extraction. The mission isn't over until everyone is home safe. Even with hell on our doorstep, the sunset is still a wonder. Hmm. That side. Can't really tell. Either way. Not too bad of a mission. We're gonna start using busters and short swords more. When we find the right enemy and the right blood arts to deal with certain enemies, we'll definitely be using oh, the um I'm right here. Sights more. Just not yet. Alright, let's try this then. Nothing great. That's now relax. Leave everything I'd sorry to take that good chance. Wow, that sucked. You suck hard. And then Dr. Rachel. Ah, oh, welcome. I do apologize for calling you all the way out here to meet with me, Dr. Cujo. N no problem at all. It's my pleasure. It's just, how could I be of any use to you? Oh, you are just too modest. Are you not Fenrir's favorite son? Their genius god arc soldier engineer. Although, I do fear that my sister and I are constantly putting you out. Not at all. I, I only think of you as my esteemed rivals. Oh, but not that I could ever even hope to compare to you both. <laughs> you flatter me so. I do have something I wish to show you. Call it a side project of mine. Come, you can't see it from there. Huh? Oh, yes, uh, of course. Wow, is that a biological control device for the God Ark soldiers? You are clever. I thought, perhaps, it may be of use to the autonomous controls you're developing. Who knows what you could achieve? Oh, Dr. Rachel, it's perfect. This is just what my research needs. Is it connected to blood units' bias factors? It is indeed. Herein are results discovered from their resonance, as well as all of the Far East Branch's research. Truly a sight to see. If you wish, you may look through my files to glean the details. Actually, I was hoping that I might ask you to take over this research in my stead. If it pleases you, this is a dream come true. It's only that... Please, Doctor, speak your mind. You know very well that my work opposes yours and Dr. Leia's. It's just... Why would you help me when there's so much to lose? Oh, you'll forgive me if I don't respond to such a hurtful question. Miss Rachel, I didn't mean to... Well, uh... There is but one condition to my assistance, Doctor. You must take sole credit for this. I don't want my name mentioned even in passing. My research will help humanity, and I'm proud of that. But I have only one sister. Leia is my only family. I cannot, will not, lose her. I, I apologize, Doctor, for being so direct with you. No, no need to apologize. I certainly understand. You can tell me anything. I so admire your devotion to both your work and your sister. Dr. Cujo, thank you. You have done for me more than you know. I will export all this data to a disk so you may begin. At once? I I've been meaning to... Perhaps we could, uh, we might, may, take this opportunity to become friends? Dr. Rachel? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? No, nothing. Poor Cujo. Poor, poor Cujo. What is up with the pairings in this game, honestly? Like, Leah and Germ, and then Rachel and Cujo? What the hell's going on? Hey, Cujo. We're making progress. Like, I've never experienced before. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't know what to think. Not yet. Shiel and Alankan. A report. It's been a while. How are you doing? I've heard that it's almost time for you to return to the Far East Branch. Romeo has been very excited, shouting and waving his hands about wildly, saying that we'll go out to meet you and on the way back. I have a lot that I would like to talk to you about as well. I'm looking forward to seeing you back home safe, Shio. Aww. Aww. And we have a new origami, the Quadriga. A gigantic origami with armor like a tank. It's fire power f it fires powerful shots off a human-based weaponry. Despite its large form, it is highly mobile. It is thought to be native to the Mediterranean coast. Since close combat weaponry has a hard time penetrating its armor, piercing bullets against its missile pods or crushing bullets against its leg to trip it are recommended strategies. Attacks with blades and weak to freeze and divine. That's what it was. Divine. Okay. I know it was weak to something else as well. Sounds like Romeo came to greet you earlier, so you're going back to the Far East? We'll be waiting for you here at Friar. I want to look at that urgent mission. I probably can't do it though. You're going back to the Far East? How sad. But I'm sure they're all waiting for you over there. I'll be looking forward to your return. Do you even have a name, guy? No, you don't. Romeo! I'm gonna wait to talk to you. You're off to the Far East soon? I've finished the instructions on Link's support devices myself. I'll have to go back and put all the places that need revising in one document. We're both pretty busy. Okay. Hello, hello. Dr. Kujo's been in a fantastic mood lately. We really want him to work towards fully... Want him to work toward fully development? Deployment. Still. Also, I just noticed he has a little dagger on his, like, hip. What the fuck's that about? Like, really? Nobody in here? Okay. I'm gonna regret this. Oh, okay. Good. Woo. Vampire Countess? You've come to greet us, have you, Romeo? Say hello to everyone in blood. I, too, will move on to the next preparations. I look forward to the day we can all meet again as a family. Like... Did they mean to write her, like, when they were writing the scripts for this game, did they mean to make her seem like a vampire countess? Because she seems like a vampire countess. Yo! Were you surprised? I thought you might get lonely all by yourself. We are heading back to Far East. Give me a shout when you're ready. I guess I'll check this. I don't think there's going to be anything new. Yeah. There might be. But in case there isn't, still. I still want to check. Yeah, I didn't think there was going to be. But I can't come back to this one. And this one might be specific or special. I don't know. Alright, we're ready. Nah. I'm not running off again. I ran everything about Julius. So you're not an assistant anymore, right? I want to try, mo I want to try moving Dr. Rachel back to the Far East. If that's the case, can you come with me for a bit before we go? Sure. Alright. In that case, let's get going on a mission already. We can talk details later. Seabreeze. A request for assistance was received from the Far East Branch. The Gorgora and Ukan Basara, living in the ruins of Academy, Academy City, are interfering with our supply lines. Rendezvous. 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 I never remember how to pronounce that word properly. Rendezvous, I believe, is the right one. With Romeo and eliminate them. Alright, just me and Romeo? Huh. Hmm. Okay. That should be fine. Do I want that much armor? Eh, I kind of want damage. Hmm. I think I really need to bring sure breaks. That's not a sure break. All right. Is it gonna be more than five minutes? Probably. Yeah. Now you bring twenty. Um. Full burst at two would be nice. Yeah. All right. We should be fine. I've gotten on you. All right. 
You're gonna be coming real slowly then. Like, real talk. Um. Ukon. I think I, br I have to bring the stuff for the Gaboro. Otherwise, we're just not gonna get his stuff. Are they weak to anything else? They're weak to Blaze, I believe. They're the weird one. Blaze and Freeze. Everything. Um, I can bring Blaze. Do I have a Blaze Spear? I might. Probably not. I have that. That'll work. Casper should be fine for both. Blaze and Spark. Yeah. It's gonna be better than what anything else I have, really. Yeah. I guess I could bring a non-elemental shotgun. That might be fine. That'll be fine. The Scrambler, what does that do? Leak resistance. You know what? Let's bring that. God, this is such a weird setup. And I don't think I can upgrade this. I don't think so. Nope. Alright. That's the best we can do then on such short notice. Can't upgrade that? Yeah. Oh well. At least they'll both be weak to it. And Romeo is all leveled up, I believe. Yeah, he ain't getting up better. Alright, let's do it. Just you? Alright. Oh. Actually, you know what? They're not that strong anymore. The weapon feels weird, though. No. Um, don't mind me. Thank you. Blood Alpha. Burst status is nearing expiration. Yep. All right. Can't touch me. Oh right, his uh, his dorsal fin's gonna be a pain. I forgot about that. Of the bond confirmed. Well okay, done. Romeo's got it. Oh, him over here. Good shit, Romeo. Too bad I can't hit him well with that. Oh, oh, I did well enough. Bond is we'll be bursting in a seco. Just want to see if I can burst him down. Doesn't look like I'll be able to. Enemy down. Well done. Oh, well. I mean, we'll have... Aragami is disengaging. Yeah. Hmm. It's heading for food. Uh, where are you, you going, Mike? Uh, Alright. You know what? I should really do this. Blood Alpha, you've I was hoping it would back. stun him, by You're the way. You're in danger. It hurts. Blood Alpha, oh, hang in there. Well, I'm well, sending thanks, a team Romeo. to help. I was hoping I would be able to get out of that range when it hit as bad, you know. Underestimated him. More or less. And if he could move forward, that'd be nice. Romeo putting in all the effort. The link support device is activating. Well, shit. Engaged origami retreating to feet. Hey, don't you run away on me? This is awkward. Hey, um, can you look at me? Thank you. All right. Blood Alpha, burst there status is nearing expiration. Hmm. Didn't think it would home in that well either. Doing fine. Aragami falling. Excellent. Also, it's kind of annoying that the music keeps like totally dropping right really in. low. Aragami oh. activating. Hmm. Enough. Aragami falling. You should be Excellent. dying in a moment. And then the last last one, last one, last one, Raggy, is a Utanasara, yeah. which we'll see how bad that is. All right, and we should be getting burst in a moment too. Engaged Aragami retreating to feed. I'm kind of surprised he's been so well contained here. Also, another thing Aragami I did notice. Excellent. Man, way up cool. 
while um, checking up stuff. I didn't spoil anything or look up anything that would be spoilers. Thankfully. A mid-level origami has broken through. Location coming. Apparently. In burst mode. Um, I believe it's Buster Swords do more damage with their alt attack. The charge, you know, like, super strike thing. And I believe spears do more damage or they charge faster in burst. Oh. Alright. We really should be going for the turbine now. Turbine's the only thing that really affects, like, us. That's kind of annoying that I can't see that little hitbox there. Hmm. Perkins. Hmm. I didn't expect you to go that far. I was actually turning back to see where you were. Did we have another sure break at five? I know we had one, two. Which it was way too awesome, optimistic to think I could kill the Gaboro in that time. The origami is disengaging. It's heading for food. Hail or turbine? Hail. Origami bond is cracked. Yeah. Yeah. At the time, Tail was just screaming to be broken. Where's that item? Did I pick it up? I guess I already did. Okay. If you could turn around, that would be nice. See what I mean? If I, like, stayed where I was, I would get hit trying to mix with that attack. That's the problem with the charge spear. You really gotta commit to, like, a single attack area. It hits his side really well. Hmm. Does it hit his turbine really well? Is that it? Hmm. Let's see. Engaged origami retreating to feed. Where are you going? I we'll see. It doesn't seem to be too is well. now restrained. Not sure. There we go. He'll be dead in probably ten no. If he keeps stalling like this by being like awkwardly positioned. I think he should be dead in another minute. Especially if I do this. Oh, but it didn't hit very well. There. Yeah, I guess it just hits his um turbine pretty well. Also hits his tail pretty nicely. Much so does shotgun. The shotgun does pretty well on all of his parts, honestly. That was that's the thing that's nice about shotgun with him. Is it does really well on every single one of his parts. Origami is disengaging. There we go. It's heading for food. We didn't get that full burst, or at least I don't feel like we did. I feel like I would have remembered it. Don't mind me. I'm about to kill you, so you don't mind. Oracle response from the primary target is no. Splendid victory today. Good work, guys. That was not too bad. Good fight. Mission complete. You lost just me and Romeo. That went pretty quickly. It always feels really good to finish a mission. I got all of his Even items, better I think. When we I did feel like I did them. Romeo demands more challenge in his combat. I think you can probably handle something a little tougher. Romeo, if you want more challenge, go solo against... Uh, Asario. A Garm would be too easy, honestly. Like, because he does have a good weapon set for dealing with Garm. He doesn't have a good weapon set for dealing with freaking Asarios. Even with those good blood bullets. They're just such a pain. Definitely feels like they got buffed up a good bit. I hope I can help. Hmm. Even a little. 
I'll take this. I'm not gonna get much better, honestly, but I do want to give Romeo more points. I'm not gonna get much better than that. Ooh. Not too bad. Not great, but not useless. And now. Awesome! Another job done and done! Oh, Natsu. You're one hell of a god eater. You and me can take down those origami any day. Now it's gonna get sad. Hey, listen. I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. How can I be as good as the others? Like, how can I be more useful to the team? I tried copying Gil. I tried rushing in like Nana. I've tried everything. But I guess that's just not the way, huh? I'm not them, and I shouldn't try to be. I just gotta be the best damn Romeo I can. Damn right, Romeo. They were all so amazing. You and the captain, Sheil and Nana, even Gil. You all do so much that I never could. But that got me thinking. I mean, there's gotta be stuff that I can do that none of you can. Right? Blood's an awesome unit. Now I just gotta find my place in it. Aww. Hey, thanks for listening. Aww. <laughs> Sorry. I hope all my whining doesn't put you off, Vice Captain. You're fine, Romeo. <laughs> One of these days, Romeo, you're gonna get your blood power. And I'm gonna be happy. Julius? Ah, Vice Captain. Romeo, welcome back. I want to explain this survey mission right away. It's an area located north of Friar in a rocky mountain. The Marduk leading swarms from the mountains on the assaults and then return. The Marduk leads swarms from the mountain, from that mountain, on the assault and then returns to the mountain. So says reports that from research collecting flower oh flowing flowing I thought I said flower for a second through the satellite bases we'll survey the area to get the truth then if given the chance yeah we'll kill the Bardu then and there <laughs> exactly we'll move out once everyone's ready once the mission is complete the vice captain and I will go back to the result or give the results back to Dr. Rachel and Fryer hey Romeo oh you're not Romeo. You're Julius. Okay, good, didn't it? Okay. We're gonna ferret that Marduk out, and I'm gonna kill it. Counting on your support, guys. Nah, nah. Searching for it on a rocky mountain seems pretty tough. Would it be faster if I drew it out? Hmm. But we'd be in trouble if a swarm of them showed up, huh? See, that's the problem is, I, we don't know if, like, her ability would work on a Scion. Because we know it cancels it out, like the blood powers and stuff like that. Doesn't mean it works on them, just means it cancels it out. Alyssa? We've also had to consider how to adapt in the event blood isn't around. Right. If we're out fighting for several days, we'll have to fend off. We'll have to fend for ourselves sometimes. We'll want to at least two veterans so we can adapt. We will want at least two veterans, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. If we find a scion on our own, we'll just lure it out, take it away, and get rid of it. Right? So, just leave it to the fourth unit. Two of our lovely veterans will gladly treat it to a good time. You fucking are. The commanding officers are meeting, basically to talk about scion countermeasures, like always. Don't mind us. Just go nuts like you always do. We'll back you out, no problem. Aww. Coda, Coda's pretty awesome. <gasps> Shit. Marduk. There are a few battle records and even fewer materials on it. I don't know much, but it seems powerful. It will be difficult to see it on the mountain. There's a chance we'll run into it. I hope into it comes in handy. Initiate. Squeak. Happy Bar, you are the wisest of us all. I will never forget you. Excuse Matsumi. There's a huge dog at the satellite base. That's what Suno, you know, said. But I've never seen a real dog before. Do they look like huge cat bars? Bless you. Bless you. Was it you who gave that Marduk a stab in the eye, Vice Captain? I guess that makes you its arch enemy. 
We always say that origamis have no intelligence, but looking at the scion, I get the feeling that may not be true. You know, most origami don't, but they have. We have seen some that are very, like, they have some level of intelligence, especially some concept of self. Like, oh, what was it? The um, the Deus Phage, the Sasuno. They definitely have some intelligence, like, to a degree, because they are former- well, I guess they are former god-eaters, so... Yeah. More and more people are refusing to take shelter, are getting attacked, spread rain warnings. There are too many alerts. It's not that forecasts are inaccurate. If they were crying wolf, that'd be one thing. Welcome back. How was Friar? We're having a bit of trouble at the side of the bases. It seems a wolf like Aragami has attacked a few times. You don't say. Nice suitcases, by the way. Aww. Cute big mank. And we got some mail to read when I get back. Hey, Damien. Red Rain. The patients here got sick just from coming in contact with it. And I guess nothing happens even if it touches the Aragami? Though any effect would hardly be surprising. It. We're pretty sure it comes from Origami, Daniel. You. you may visit the patients. Please be quiet. Hey, Asuna. Lika stroked my hair after I finished all my math drills. She's got cool gloves. You could touch a counter with them. I could pet a copy bar with these gloves. Aww. Like, that's the thing. Is it contagious on contact, or is it contagious on contact with the infected area? That's what I'm curious. Hey, Sakaki. Surveying the area where the Madu may be hiding hmm, a proper mission. It doesn't appear very often. It's a rather wary opponent. Approach it with caution. Alright, I shall try. And we'll take a look at the mission and read the email before we end the episode. Let's see. Romeo, about that la last mission, thanks for coming with me. I feel a lot better after talking with you. I wasn't actually supposed to come greet you at Friar, but I really wanted to talk to you, so I got them to swap me in. Latest. See ya. Alright. And next time, we will be doing this mission. Still difficulty 4. Oh, ooh. Stronghold of the Demon Wolf. Interesting. Oh, there's even more. Stronghold of the Demon Wolf mid. I don't know what that mid is. Hmm. Rumble Run. Join the scouting team on a trip to the mountains to locate the Scion, thought to be hiding here. Cocoon mains and Yaksha Raja responses have been detected, which may make this mission more difficult than anticipated. Destroy any obstacles that m and make a thorough sweep of the area. Maybe we'll have time for this? Hmm. You know what? Let's make time for this. Yeah. We can do this. Oh, but we might have a cutscene. We're gonna bring Nana Gilbert or Shield. Shield. Yeah. Um, I want sure break I want sooner sure breaks. Two sooner sure breaks. And Cannon can give us a sure break as well, I believe. Right. Sure break. You didn't see that down there. You didn't see nothing. Um. Hmm. That's awkward. Hmm. So I already, I already have cannon. That's why. Oh. I'm a dumb dumb. Oh well. Um. Let's get full burst at two to start things off right. Right. Overlapping. Oh, okay. All right. That's fine. In the next episode, we will do Rumble Run and hopefully see the Mardu, you know, fight him. That'd be pretty cool. I got to set up sets, too, for the, um, the Quad Riga, and I have to set up a set probably for the Marduk. I might just bring the, um, the Garm set. We'll see how well that does. Anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the series, enjoyed this episode, or find something to enjoy today, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.